Hi, welcome to Prime Recap. A 10-year-old boy is transported into his dreams with a mission to save his two superhero friends from the destruction caused by a new powerful villain. Today we will recap the story of the 2005 movie, The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Shark Boy was an intern for his father, a marine biologist. The man devoted his life to studying the great white sharks and called his son Shark Boy because he loved taking care of these animals. The boy made sushi for everyone and even gave them names, until one day a great and mysterious storm came up and destroyed the entire floating laboratory. Using the lifeboat, Shark Boy and his father managed to save themselves, however, they eventually became separated in the ocean and each went in a different direction. Suddenly a shoal of sharks approached the boy and one of those creatures recognized him. It took the boy to a cave, where he could live in safety. From then on, his new family was made up of hundreds of sharks, and the boy had to learn to live in the sea like a fish. In time, his ribs turned into gills, his teeth became pointed, and fins appeared on his body. While fishing, Max met Shark Boy and took him into his home. The young man told him that he had traveled all over the universe looking for his father, and that is how he discovered Planet Drool. Shark Boy told Max that one day he too could go to Planet Drool, and the boy wrote it all down in his dream journal, where he keeps all his most treasured dreams. One night, the two boys were visited by a girl with flaming pink hair named Lava Girl. The girl said that Shark Boy needed to return to Planet Drool with her, as the place was going through a serious crisis. After that, Max never saw either of them again. He tells his classmates that this is what happened on his vacation, but everyone except Marissa claims the boy is lying and throws paper balls at him. Next, it is Linus' turn to tell how his vacation went, and the boy takes the opportunity to offend Max. At the end of the class, the teacher, Mr. Electricidad, asks the two boys to make an effort to be friends and orders Linus to stop picking on Max. On his way out of school, Linus shows Max the drawing he made in his notebook, in which Shark Boy is being devoured by electric eels. At that moment, Max says that the boy draws very badly and Linus calls his friends to run after him. The delinquent plans to steal the dream journal, and Max runs away to the playground in an attempt to escape those kids. However, while climbing the rope pyramid, he ends up falling and Linus manages to get his diary. That night Max wakes up in the middle of a nightmare and finds footprints on the floor of his room. Following them, the boy walks to the kitchen, where he finds a glass of melted milk and a plate of cookies on the table. One of the cookies has Shark Boy's teeth marks on it, and the other cookie is burned, indicating that it has been devoured by Lava Girl. His parents heard movement in the kitchen and, startled, went over to find out what was going on. Max then tries to explain that Shark Boy and Lava Girl were there, but his mother orders him to go to his room and go back to sleep. Back in his bed, Max dreams of the day he will get to know Planet Drool, a place full of games, toys, and most importantly, no school. Hours later, his alarm clock goes off and the boy wakes up again. He is disappointed to find that he is still on Earth and goes downstairs to have breakfast with his parents. His father relates that while tidying up his closet, he found Tobor, the robot that Max had been trying to assemble for some years. The man asks if the boy wants help to finish assembling it, but Max remembers that his father had said his robot wouldn't work, so he gave up on it. Outside the house, his mother watches while the boy goes to school, which is literally across the street. That day, during class, a tornado comes through the town and Marissa tells how she had a dream similar to Max's, but the protagonists were called the Ice Girl and the Dream Boy. Upon hearing this, her father, the teacher, orders the girl to forget this fairy tale and concentrate on the lesson. When Linus shows up, Max orders him to return his diary and tells Mr. Electricidad what happened the day before. After being scolded by the teacher, the boy returns the diary to its real owner, but now the notebook is completely scribbled. Enraged, Max throws his diary at the boy's head and the tornado approaches the school. The windows open and sheets of paper begin to fly everywhere. Linus takes advantage of the distraction to take back Max's journal, and soon after, Shark Boy and Lava Girl show up. Everyone is surprised to find out that the boy was telling the truth, especially Mr. Electricidad. Lava Girl asks where Max is and everyone points to him. As she walks toward the boy, the pink-haired young woman sets fire to the sheets of paper around her and asks Max to accompany her to Planet Drool. The boy believes he is only dreaming and closes his eyes in an attempt to wake up. However, when he opens them again, his two friends are still there, and Max realizes that this is really happening. The trio gets into a shark-shaped spaceship and travels through space until they reach the so-called Planet Drool. When they land, Lava Girl asks if Max remembers that place, but the boy cannot remember, even though he is the one who created that planet in his dreams. The girl claims that everything that exists or ever existed began with a dream. Because of Max's dreams, Shark Boy and Lava Girl exist, as does every bit of that world. 
However, the day before, the planet began to die, and if nothing is done, everything will be destroyed in the next 45 minutes. Max is the one who created Planet Drool, so he is the only one who can save it. To do this, they must reach the Lair of Dreams, which is on the other side of the planet. The trio climbs on a rolling platform to get to the amusement park, where some youngsters have been taken by the roller coaster. Shark Boy uses his super strength to hold the trolley while Lava Girl melts the rails. Just then, Mr. Electric appears and the trio gets into the trolley to try to escape. They infiltrate the villain's hideout to confront him. Immediately, Shark Boy is captured by giant plugs, but Lava Girl manages to escape. The girl shoots jets of lava into Mr. Electric's face and apparently manages to defeat him. But in fact, the villain was only pretending to find an opportunity to attack the young girl. Max tries to do something to help his friends, but he begins to be chased by the plugs. Then, Shark Boy shows up to save him and they both return to battle. Lava Girl knows that they are unable to defeat Mr. Electric, but believes that Max can. The problem is that the boy doesn't know how to do this, and they are captured again. The girl asks Max to remember his dreams, but he can remember almost nothing, so he writes everything down in his diary. The villain sends them to the dream cemetery, and they manage to spot the dream lair. All the dreams of Planet Drool are stored there, but they are being destroyed by something or someone unknown. Shark Boy asks where Max's dream journal is, because by reading them aloud, the boy could make everything go back to normal. However, the notebook was not with him, but in the hands of Linus, who stole it during the tornado. Upon hearing this, Shark Boy is furious. When the platform they are on reaches the end of the trail, the small group falls into the graveyard. While Mr. Electric watches over everyone in the amusement park, a mysterious figure appears and orders the robot to capture back the three youngsters he sent to the dream graveyard, for there they might find some ally. To help him in this mission, the villain has the support of the electric dogs, who are able to sniff out and locate their prey. Back in the dream graveyard, Lava Girl asks Max to try to sleep and dream his way out of that place. However, the boy cannot sleep because he is hungry. So Lava Girl gives him a volcanic rock to eat. As he ingests the stuff, the boy spits fire and Shark Boy offers him a raw fish. When he goes to heat the food, the girl ends up turning it into a lump of coal and Max claims that he is no longer hungry. The boy walks through the place and finds a giant version of Tobor, the robot he created in a dream when he was a child to help him with his homework. When trying to communicate with Tobor, Max discovers that the creature is alive and asks how he can save Planet Drool. The robot then claims that the answer lies in the boy's dreams. However, he must not dream in that place, because there, any dream becomes a nightmare. To have good dreams and make them come true, Max must go to the land of milk and cookies. However, the place is very far away. Since Tobor's body is incomplete and he cannot walk, the robot uses his eyes and mouth to get the trio onto the train bound for the land of cookie milk. Max tries to control the vehicle, but the train is floating off the tracks and the only option is to jump off. In doing so, they fall on top of a chocolate cookie, which is floating under a river of boiling milk. Max uses the marshmallow as a pillow in an attempt to have good dreams. However, the boy cannot sleep because he hears a very loud sound approaching. Lava Girl lies on the marshmallow to try to hear the noise, but ends up burning the candy. She wonders what creatures were made to eat those giant cookies. Just then, Max's parents appear and devour the cookie where the three of them are. But the youngsters jump on a piece of cake and manage to escape. After eating, Max tries to sleep again, and Shark Boy sings a lullaby. Then the boy begins to dream and a shark-shaped motorcycle appears. Seeing that his strategy is working, Shark Boy continues to sing and Lava Girl asks Max to dream about her, as the girl wishes to find out what her purpose is. Lava Girl doesn't want to be just flames and destruction, she believes she can be better than that. Suddenly, a black cloud approaches and the girl realizes that the boy is having nightmares. To wake him up, she needs to burn him. Meanwhile, Mr. Electric is still in search of the young ones with his electric dogs. He appears at the pistachio ice cream mountain and Shark Boy manages to spot them. They get on their motorcycle to escape, but then discover that the vehicle is out of gas. Therefore, the trio must stay and face those creatures. During the duel, Lava Girl realizes that her powers are weakening and is captured. Shark Boy uses his fighting skills to eliminate the electric dogs, but no matter how many of them are destroyed, new creatures appear and the boy is electrocuted. To escape the giant plugs, Lava Girl melts her body and asks Max to dream up some way out of that place. Just then, a banana split boat appears and they flee across the river of boiling milk. Max is awakening his powers and learning to daydream. Once he masters this technique, nothing else can stop him. Lava Girl asks what the boy saw in his dream, and he uses the girl's finger to draw the shape of the object he dreamed of. Immediately, 
Shark Boy recognizes the crystal heart and reveals that it is the treasure of the Land of Ice. This crystal is able to freeze anything, even time. The next mission is to go to the Ice Castle to get the crystal and freeze time. This way, they can reach the Lair of Dreams and save the planet. The problem is, to get to the castle, they have to cross an ice bridge and Lava Girl is afraid to destroy it with her boiling feet. The girl tries to sleep to cool her body while walking. Lava Girl threatens to sneeze and Shark Boy approaches her to help her contain the sneeze. However, his plan does not work and he is thrown far away. The boy almost falls off the bridge, but Max helps him up. Meanwhile, Lava Girl walks slowly in her sleep under the bridge, but a horde of electric dogs approaches and Shark Boy yells for his friend to run away. When the young woman wakes up, the bridge begins to melt and the trio must run to cross it. The group narrowly makes it to the castle unharmed, but Electric was there waiting for them. After capturing them, the villain takes them to the Dream Lair, where they meet the current emperor of Planet Drool, known as Minus. The boy read Max's entire diary and managed to find a way to alter all the dreams. Very soon, when darkness dominates that world, all dreams will be destroyed and Minus will dominate Planet Drool. Meanwhile, the trio is trapped in a cage and Lava Girl is unable to melt the bars as her powers are diminishing. Shark Boy's superhuman strength is also fading. Minutes later, singing bubbles approach the cage and the fish boy becomes irritated. When this happens, his teeth become sharp and he manages to destroy the bars in the force of hate. Now that they are free, Max goes back to his diary and takes the notebook, which was on top of Minus' face, while the boy sleeps with his eyes open. Upon reading his own notes, he discovers that Lava Girl owns a motorcycle and that Shark Boy's father is in a submarine at the bottom of the ocean looking for him. Lava Girl gets excited, wanting to know more about her story. She takes the diary from Max's hands in search of information, but accidentally turns the notebook to ashes. In that instant, she becomes furious with Max for dreaming her up as a Lava Girl. Lava Girl can no longer bear to destroy everything she touches and dreams of discovering her true purpose. Max states that in order to fix things, they need to find the Crystal Heart, and the trio redirects all the rest of their energies to completing this mission. After sliding down an ice slide, they manage to enter the castle and Shark Boy scales the ice pillar to get the crystal. The boy must use a glove to catch the object, otherwise his body will be frozen. However, just as he is about to accomplish his goal, Shark Boy slips and his fin gets stuck in the ice. Max then decides to try himself and manages to get the crystal. However, when the ice begins to crack, the young man drops the object and Lava Girl is frozen when she picks it up with her bare hands. Then, ice guards appear and take the prisoners to the princess's room. The girl asks why they are trying to steal the Heart of Ice and says she can lend her crystal to Max. However, to do this, he will have to find the real crystal, because the one Lava Girl took was only a bait. The girl causes several pillars to appear in the hall, each with a crystal on top. She claims that the real crystal is in that room and promises that if Max chooses the right one, he can take it. The boy then claims that the real crystal is around the princess's neck, for he had this vision in his dream. As promised, the young girl gives him the object and wishes him good luck on his journey. With only 10 seconds left until the destruction of the planet, Max tries to freeze time, but his plan does not work. In that instant, Lava Girl manages to thaw his body and states that only the Ice Princess can use the crystal. When he sees Mr. Electric approaching, Shark Boy is overcome by his instincts and jumps into the water to attack him. However, the villain throws electric eels into the ocean. Shark Boy tries to run away from them, but is electrocuted and passes out underwater. Lava Girl knows that her friend cannot hold his breath for long and will drown if she does not go to rescue him. So the young woman decides to go after him, even though she knows her life will be at risk. Lava Girl manages to bring Shark Boy back to the surface and her flames go out. With his two friends unconscious, Max feels lost, not knowing what to do. When his hopes are almost gone, Tobor appears and encourages the boy to have new dreams, since his old ones have been destroyed. After saying this, the robot leaves and Shark Boy wakes up. Seeing his friend unconscious, the boy becomes desperate. Max dreams of a volcano in the middle of all that snow, and Shark Boy decides to use his super speed to take Lava Girl there, in the hope that the girl will recover. Soon after throwing her into the volcano, an explosion occurs and the Lava Girl rises from the ashes even stronger. She uses all her power to destroy the darkness and light up the planet. Max figures out how to use his superpowers and, in an instant, reaches the volcano. The boy asks Shark Boy to stop Mr. Electric while he takes care of Minus. Now that he can dream with his eyes open, there is nothing else in that world that can stop him. Minus challenges his enemy to a duel of dreams and states that the best dreamer will win that contest. He sends carnivorous fish to devour Max, but the boy fights back with soap bubbles, which are used to trap the predators. The next round is a bug attack, however, 
Max pauses the duel to launch his most powerful attack, the Brainstorm. Then he imagines Minus with a gigantic head and his dream comes true. Meanwhile, Shark Boy confronts Mr. Electric and calls his ocean friends to help him. The sharks knock the villain into the water and devour him. When Minus manages to get back to normal, he creates a tower below his feet and Max goes after him. The young man tries to convince his archenemy to join him so that together they can build a better planet. Just as the boys were about to make peace, the ladder connecting the two towers is destroyed and Minus falls several meters. When he hits the ground, the boy will surely lose his life, however, Max rushes to rescue him and manages to save his former rival. Shark Boy and Lava Girl appear soon after and the girl thanks Max, for now she knows her true purpose. Shark Boy becomes the king of the oceans, as he always wanted, and Minus claims that they are now free. The Fish Boy can return to Earth and search for his father in the ocean, and Lava Girl will master the volcanoes of the planet. Mr. Electric shows up and is revolted when he realizes that everyone has become friends. The villain goes to Earth to try to destroy Max while he sleeps. At that moment, the boy realizes that everything he experienced on Planet Drool was only a dream, and Lava Girl tells him to blink his eyes three times in order to wake up. As he does so, the boy gets up in a tornado and the teacher wakes Linus, who was also asleep. Suddenly, Mr. Electric arrives on Earth. Max's parents rush to the school in an attempt to save the boy, but end up being sucked into the tornado. Lava Girl manages to save the boy's mother and Shark Boy recovers his father, who was sucked in next. Linus tries to defeat the villain, but is struck by lightning and aborts his mission. Max then pulls the heart of ice from his pocket and hands it to Marissa. The girl claims to have seen that crystal in her dreams and Max asks her to use her powers to freeze Mr. Electric. In this way, she manages to save everyone and the children have fun in the snow while Max is reunited with his parents. Months later, the boy tells his classmates about the outcome of his dream. According to him, Shark Boy has become the king of the oceans and has taken care of all sea creatures. He continues on the search for his father while Lava Girl acts as queen of the Earth's volcanoes, warming the bottom of the sea and allowing all the creatures that inhabit it to live. Shark Boy and Lava Girl have stopped visiting Max, but the boy can still visit them in his dreams. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.